let us now go with our next query create a highlight table to show the job satisfaction rating for each job role based on the employee count go to power bi click on new sheet okay we have table here select the table okay based on the job role you have to specify the job satisfaction okay just drag job role onto column okay job satisfaction onto column okay here it will take sum just make it as average so which will give you the average value in job satisfaction so if you just go to table view if you see the job there are different job roles like laboratory technician sales representative healthcare representative research scientist manager okay there are multiple roles which are available and for each you have a rating from 1 to 4 okay based on the job satisfaction for that particular person so the average will be taking the average job satisfaction okay so you can always use filter okay we want it only for the current employees so we have cf current employee drag it on to add data wish data fields here okay just click on basic filtering okay select one okay select one so that only current employees will be taken into consideration so if the graph is not visible go to format go to format click on values increase the size increase the size so that it is visible okay so this is the job satisfaction for each job role based on the current employee okay based on the employee count so let us now go with our next query create a horizontal bar chart to show the attrition count for each education field okay go to power bi go to new sheet we want horizontal chart select stacked bar chart that is the first chart okay first chart drag education field on to y axis education field on to y axis attrition count on to x axis okay and also education field on to label legend go to visualization switch on the data labels okay and increase the size increase the size of the font so that the values are displayed okay this is with respect to education field wise attrition count okay so the life by seeing this graph we can conclude human resources has less attrition rate okay based on the education field and when it comes to life sciences we have more attrition rate okay the last graph which we'll be seeing is we have to create a multiple donor chart multiple donor chart to show the attrition rate by gender for different age groups okay just go to power bi click on new sheet so we already have a donor chart select the donor chart select the donor chart okay drag gender on to legend okay attrition rate on to values so now they have told us to group them by the age group okay age band i'll just increase the size increase the size okay and drag i'll just go to filters drag cf age band on to data field okay select basic filtering select first group that is 25 to 34 is my first group 
After doing this, just right click on the visual, click on copy visual, okay, save, control V, just copy paste, first visual, I want five different visual, okay, for each and every age group. Okay, after copying, so the first graph is for 25 to uh, 34, select the second graph, select the age group, deselect the first one and select 34 to 45, select the third graph, change the age group to 45 to 54, go to the fourth chart, select the age group. To under 55. Next graph, select the age group under 25. Okay. So you can also go to format. Okay. Go to detail label. Select all labels so that you will be able to see all the labels. Okay. And also. I want to name the filter. You can also add text. Okay. This is with respect to. Okay. Go to item. It is not gender. This is for legend title. You can change attrition rate under 25. Next chart, change the title to over 55. Go to third chart, title 45 to 54. So to check the age, then 45 to 44, twenty five to 34. So this gives you multiple donut chart. Okay. So whenever you are copy pasting the or selecting a filter always choose filters on this visual so that it will be applied for only this visual if you go to there are three options here filters on this page filters on all pages so if you select either of the two it will affect all the graphs okay so always while selecting the filter please be aware that you are choosing filters on the visual so thank you this is our last question